I don't really know how to like do an intro for this video. So, uh, hello and welcome back. No. <laughs> hello and welcome back to another video. Just pretend that this is me and that I have arms and that I'm, I'm waving. Hold on, wait, I actually have arms. Hello and welcome back to another video. Uh, since I don't have face cam yet, this is, this is gonna be me. This is my substitute. No, this is so tough. Hello and welcome back to another video. Today, here on the channel, we are going to be doing another little unboxing. So I ordered some stuff from Target. Yes, this is Animal Crossing related. This box doesn't really fit in the frame all too well, so uh, forgive me. We've unboxed some stuff on the channel before. We did the Animal Crossing collector's box and I did some little Etsy things. So today I found some new stuff on Target. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this baby open as best I can. Why is this so difficult? Okay, I'm trying to open this, um, as you can see, my attempts, without exposing my address because there's two labels on th this side and the back side that have my freaking address on them. How do unboxing YouTubers do it? Okay, I'm just gonna open this, like, on my own. You guys don't need to see this. This is too difficult to keep in frame. Please, open. Okay. I got the box open. There's a little sneak peek. Here's our first item. It is a stationary bundle. The box is a little ripped up. I don't really know what happened. It's got a rip right here and this is all messed up up here, but it's all good. So this bundle comes with a notebook, binder clips, sticky notes, and sticky tabs. And it's got the little Animal Crossing logo up here. I think that is super duper cute. And as you can see back here, this is an official Nintendo licensed product and it is made by Culturefly, which are the same people who did the collector's box. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. I guess this plastic just comes right off. And then we have our little box. That's pretty cute. Honestly, I might use this to like store things. Okay, so we got this and I guess I have to take this plastic off. Hello. Oh, I'm sitting here struggling with it and there's freaking staples in the plastic. No wonder I can't get it. Ah. Uh, <laughs> okay, that kind of exploded everywhere. But here is our stuff. Look at this, how cute. We've got binder clips. We've got an Isabel binder clip, also a Tom Nook one. And then we have Timmy and or Tommy, whichever one you like better, that's who it will be. And we have good old KK, so that's super cute. They're very um, colorful. So yeah, this is uh, the binder clips. They look like pretty standard binder clips, look like they'll work nicely. Why is there someone outside right now making a high-pitched noise when I'm trying to record. And these are sticky notes in the shape of the little DIY cards. And I think that is so freaking adorable. I'm gonna go ahead and snip these open. These are so adorable. So they are sticky, of course. You can peel them off and stick them somewhere. I think I like these a lot better than the little turnip shaped ones that are in the collector's box. I like that these are a rectangle. The color is a bit muted for my taste. It kind of looks like the printer was like running out of ink or something. It's very, very light, which I guess is good if it is going to be a sticky note. That way your ink shows up better, but... It just looks kind of off compared to the little cards in the real game. Next, we have these little sticky bookmarks, which are so, so cute. I love like the little mailbox, the little bell bag, the little fossil and the little leaf. They're so adorable. And I really, really like these. I know a lot of people love to use little sticky bookmarks like these. And I think they're so, so cute. I'm glad they started including different elements like, you know, the little mailbox that's really unique i think that's really really cute and then lastly in here we've got a whole freaking notebook so this notebook very obviously has a giant picture of tom nook on it and i'm gonna go ahead and cut into it so it stops being so reflective so this is what the inside looks like we've got the cute little leaf pattern i love that and then these little silhouettes of villagers down at the bottom with little trees and shrubs and flowers and of course the big leaf in the middle and it looks like all the pages are like that, which is very, very cute. And it's got this cute yellow spine. I love little details like that in notebooks. Absolutely adorable. 
and the back of it is just a continuation of that same leaf pattern that is on the front with good old Tom Nook. So this is the stationary bundle. You get the notebook, you get the bookmarks, you get the little sticky pad, and you get all of these cute little binder clips. I think this is so, so cute. Very, uh, very useful for anyone who uses a lot of stationery or who likes to write a lot. And I think this is a really fun collectible, the notebook for Animal Crossing fans. I know I'm gonna put this on a shelf and never touch it. So you can find this whole set on Target's website or I believe in some select stores and it retails for $19.99, a good old $20. And you know, you can make your own judgment if you think it's worth it or not. For me, I think it's a pretty decent amount of stuff for 20 bucks. It's really cute. Comes with stuff that you can't really, you know, find anywhere else, these adorable sticky notes. So it's up to you if you would like to buy all this stuff. I'm just here to give you an inside look into it, to get into all the little nitty gritty details of all the pieces and you can decide for yourself if it's something that you would like to purchase. So I'm gonna give this stationery set a solid eight out of 10. Um, the only points I would knock off are for the color of this. It seems like a little muted, like I was talking about. And I'm also knocking off a point on the binder clips. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but the printing of their little faces isn't the best. It's a tad blurry, which of course you're not gonna notice most of the time or care most of the time really, but it is just something I noticed. So yeah, but still really solid. That was not the only thing I bought. However, we bought another set from Target, which I will get into right now so this is the one i am very excited for this is an animal crossing kitchen bundle as you can see it includes an oven mitt a pot holder and a dish towel so as you can see on the top here kind of hard to tell against the white um, but it has the little animal crossing logo on the plastic which i think is a really nice touch but let's go ahead and open it up i think you can open it from the top here is there a little oh yeah there's some little stickies oh no Okay, so right off the bat, we have a KK Slider pot holder. How cute is this? This is so cute. I really have not seen Animal Crossing merch quite like this before and it's very exciting. I like that they're implementing the New Horizons colors like this like blue teal color. Very pretty and just keeping it kind of minimalistic with KK's face and a little like grid pattern on the back and the back doesn't have anything except for this cute, I don't know what you call this but you know this. So that is freaking adorable and you know I needed a pot holder so Thank you. Next is the little oven mitt, and this is just so precious. Let me turn it this way. This has a little pattern of all of these villagers faces, and I'm so excited to see my girl Rosie. Love her so much. And we got some popular ones like Bunny and Fauna and Stitches, and of course, we gotta have KK, Mr. Nook, and Isabel. Poor Isabel's little face is kind of crunched in this seam <laughs> but she's there i don't quite get why they decided to do this two-tone thing i guess to make it more interesting but it i it i don't know i don't want to be mean but it kind of does not flow well there's no line hiding this so tom nook like what happened to his poor face like what's going on here <laughs> again it's not something that i'm going to really be particular about but i did want to point that out uh, if you're really picky about how your stuff looks i don't know i don't know you but it does it's still really cute i think if they would have gone for just the all over print either the blue background or the white background it would have you know been executed a lot better but it's still really adorable and i very much like it let's see how it feels on the inside it's nice it feels normal like cloth look at that this is a fashion statement we do have some extra thread coming off which is not the best first impression can't lie but that's easily snipped there's also some on the other side from this uh inside seam i'm assuming which kind of sucks uh that definitely like i said not the best first impression but i can easily snip that off but I do also appreciate that they included the little, this little thingy, this little uh, loop so that you can hang it if you have hooks in your kitchen. So that's pretty solid. I still very much enjoy it. Like I said, it's pretty unique. I haven't really seen stuff like this before. So I'm glad that some official merch that's very interesting is being released. So still can't complain too much. <laughs> and lastly, this box comes with a little dish towel. And this has the same pattern. It's got a little, oh, cute. 
little culture fly little uh, thingy here. Going back to uh, the dish towel. So um, right away, I can tell this isn't really like the most high quality towel you will ever have in your life. <laughs> Don't expect a uh, super high absorbency, I suppose, but it does still feel nice. It feels like um, really pretty soft for a towel. So that's really nice. I like this little pom-pom edging that it has. That is very, very cute. I think it's really unique. It's really uh, just a little something extra, this little fringe, you know, so it's not just like a straight up boring towel. <laughs> I am noticing whatever's going on on the edge here. I don't know what necessarily this is. I don't know if this is, some of this comes off. Yeah, these are like, I don't know what this is. I hope this isn't on every towel because that's a little distracting. This looks like either black or like dark blue ink but i can easily pick some of this stuff off as you can see it is coming off i'm not sure why it's like that hopefully that can come off in the wash because that's kind of annoying and disappointing like this doesn't look like it was meant to be there i don't know why they would put like a dark blue edge on it but yeah that does look a bit unsightly <laughs> which kind of sucks <laughs> But for $20 and you're getting a whole towel, and let me actually unfold it just to kind of gauge the size. I can't really fit it all in frame. If you hang this over your, what's it called? Like stove handle, that's like a pretty regular size towel. It's not too small in my opinion compared to my other dish towels that I own. So that's pretty good to me. But yeah, like I was saying, I guess for $20, um, when it involves fabric and stuff like that and these very custom patterns, I guess, you know, some stuff slips here and there. So that's kind of disappointing. I don't like these little frayed edges and I don't like the little blue seam here on the towel. Maybe I just got a bad batch, but these are just things that I'm noticing and that I would like to point out. So I did compare my towel to the other bundle that I bought and also I got a picture from another person who also bought the bundle and I do think I did get a bad one because the other two that I saw did not have the blue stuff on it. So again, this one also retails for $19.99 at Target. So again, you can make your choice if you think it's worth it or not. Again, my statement is still gonna be a solid eight out of 10 just for the uniqueness, um, especially this kitchen bundle. I think this kitchen bundle is really cute. And like I've been saying over and over, I don't think I've really seen Animal Crossing merch like this. I don't really see kitchen stuff here, at least where I live and in my area. So I'm pretty happy to own these at all. I don't think I'm really gonna use them uh, as much as my other stuff because I do want to keep them somewhat nice and like intact. Yeah, just to like have maybe more of a decoration piece for me. Once again, just here to uh, just to show and tell, you know, and you can make your call if you would like to purchase them or not. And you know, there's like a bunch of little fuzzies everywhere from the towel, that's kind of annoying. And thankfully I was able to pick up an extra bundle of each. So if you would like to win one of these, I am going to be giving them away over on my Instagram, Froggy Crossing Official. So head on over, check out that post for all the instructions on how to win one of these bundles. I think my overall review on these are if you're a hardcore Animal Crossing fan or kind of like a Animal Crossing merch collector, I think they're really good to pick up and they make really good gifts also for 20 bucks. I think they're pretty Pretty good gifts for Animal Crossing fans, but if you're looking for quality over cuteness or quality over Animal Crossing designs, then I would say maybe go for something else. If you're looking for high quality stationery, maybe browse some other stuff at Target or somewhere else. But I think for Animal Crossing fans, chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Is this chef's kiss or is this chef's kiss? I don't know. Whichever one. But that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give this video a like. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I would really, really appreciate it. I hope you liked my little review and unboxing of these bundles over on Target. And I'll be sure to include the links down in the description if you would like to purchase it yourself. But yeah, let me know what you think about these bundles, uh, what you would rate them, if you would buy them, all that jazz. Let me know down in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.